I want to express my thanks to the doctors and nurses at Howard University Hospital to give me the best of service. Yesterday, while walking at the three hour marathon center of the president of Howard University, has a fall. One of the uh, tendencies when you have Parkinson's is it affects your speech and your, and your uh, stability. So I fell and I came to the hospital really more for a, uh, uh, a checkup than anything else. And so they did thorough investigation of all of my parts. I want to thank them again. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm actually to get back to work now. I want to get back to meet with the president uh, <laughs> of the university and meet with the students to work on reconciling the differences. I think that we were very close yesterday and there are some outstanding points. We agreed that students were protesting in righteousness and the right reasons uh, should not be expelled from school. We agreed in addition to that that the students who are protesting uh, should be to be students. Somebody verified that they were students, and not have anybody in, 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 interloping into the situation. We also agreed, in a real sense, that we would have uh, another point, yeah. A commission. Yeah, there, there will be a commission uh, because the names and the dates and addresses are very delicate. To be a commission to handle that situation. The president also agreed to go to four or five dormitories with a group of students to inspect the 12 dormitories to see if there were any, any other things that were out of order. I thought the president had a good spirit yesterday, the students had a good spirit. I'd like to finish that process because I think Howard, Howard University is the maximum opportunity. It's the top of the hill, it's not the hill, it's the top of the hill. The president of Howard University speaks, uh, the words have been spoken by Black College President Dr. Mays recognized that many years ago at Morehouse. For example, uh, I would urge him the, the $45 billion of HBCUs is $3 billion. He should make the case for the $45 billion. If he has the experience black caucus, I'm talking with them, the Latino caucus, the progressives, speaking for them and for the Congress, they would let him speak for the Congress. He made the case for higher education for black children everywhere, not just Washington, but Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. He has, a, he has that capacity, he has the ability to do that. We will see his role as flying the eagles, not just dealing at low levels. So again, thank you for your, and by the way, Dr. Uh, uh, President came over to see me last, he's a, he's a practicing medical doctor. He came out last night as a gesture of uh, freedom, uh, uh, goodwill, and I thank him very much for that. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.